Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. I had a dream this afternoon, early. <laughs> Listen, I was standing looking down the street, and everywhere I looked, there was water. Water was up. I remember mentioning it in the dream. Water seems to be up to people's chest and their necks. I mean, literally up to their necks in water. Now, I know this is impossible in reality, but in the dream, stoves, appliances, things from the kitchen, the dining room, all type of furniture, all types of it, were floating in the water. And I mean, it was everywhere you turn. There was water sky high. I mean, you either had to know how to swim, tread water, or you had to be sitting on top of something that floated. That's how high the flooding had gotten. Now, the crazy part about this dream was just a matter of blocks away there were a, there was a group of people who were getting stuff together preparing and and weatherproof in their houses and gathering and boxing things up and i mean they were securing items now they were preparing but here's the thing there was no devastation where they were their houses were intact their belongings were where they belonged. They were safe. What I got from that dream is to the same measure that some people are going to live the craziest devastations. They're going to really go through it. It's going to be hard. Major loss. Major. There will be others that are totally at peace. Everything around them is calm, decent, and in order. Not chaotic, not dangerous, in order. Everything in its place. And while they're preparing for the worst, they're living in the best of circumstances. And they're not far away from each other. The flooded areas from the safety zones, they're not far from each other. They're within walking distance, some of them. So I just say, look around your land, look around your area, and see if your area sits low or if it sits high. Because the one thing the Bible always refers to is higher ground. Now you can apply that spiritually, reaching for higher ground, closeness to God, here, listening to his bosom, his heart throb, listening for his voice of direction. Or you can take that physically and look for higher ground so that you know where you, what your next plan is if something goes south. Here's another thing. My niece years ago had a dream. She was standing on a bridge. And she was looking down into a parking lot where her Jeep was. And she said she saw a wall of water. And she ran down to get in her Jeep to drive away. And she noticed when she got in the Jeep, the wall of water was really close. It was on the same parking lot that her Jeep was in. And she realized, oh no, not enough time. This is the end. And she started praying and getting her heart right with God. And she realized she was praying and praying, but nothing was hitting her Jeep. And she opened her eye, and she opened the other eye, and she realized the wall of water was approaching her in increments, very slowly, just like this piece of paper I have. That's how slowly it was moving. And she said, Oh, Lord, maybe I have time to get out of here. If I do, where should I go? And you know what she heard God say? Higher ground. So she gets, she starts the engine up. She hits the gas. She takes off. She drives up. 
uh, on this on this hill that leads to a bridge that overpasses the freeway that she's about to get onto. And just for a second, she stops and she looks down and she sees the wall of water is now covering the area where her Jeep once was. And she hits the freeway and she heads to Altadena, you know, on the, on the 110 freeway. She's heading to Pasadena and she's going to go up the hill and get as high toward the mountains as she can. Because now she knows she's got time. Well, here's the issue for now, for the here and now. That was things that were pending. Pending. They weren't breaking forth just yet. Now things are busting loose. There is no warning like there was back then. Many saints got warnings of, of flash floods, of, of tsunamis, giant waves coming into the city. Many of them. I've had my own where I had to run out into a parking lot and pick this little girl up holding her doll, put her inside and lock the door. We were in a business building and I had to get away from the window and we went somewhere, but I noticed the wall of water. It was busy on top, but it was calmer down below and it was as tall as a 20 story building. But the, and it was seawater, but this water was crawling so slowly that we had time to move to a safer part of the building. Then I woke up. Well, see, now things are not coming in slow motion with warning, with plenty of warning. Now they're busting loose. It is as if God is lifting his hedge of protection. And mankind, who has set up these chain reactions, are now reaping the whirlwind of the choices they've made, the games they've played with nature and science, and things are busting loose. Well, I tell you this, pray now before something busts loose on you. We are all praying, praying that God will warn us, let us know what to do. Do we buy extra water? Do we buy uh, 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 sacks that we can drop in water and it boils instantly and we can cook food and I mean what do we need to do we all need to be asking God right now he talks about the ant and the sluggard he compliments the ant for preparing ahead of time the sluggard sleeps like most of us watching TV being entertained taking selfies talking on the cell, sending emails, receiving emails, flirting, doing all that, but sleeping, totally dummy down to the, the dangerous, crazy, chaotic times we're in. We're in a very precarious place right now. Anything can jump off. An attack, a bomb, anything can, t can, can just blow up in our face. Anything can take off. Jump off and just drive us crazy. Drive some to the grave. But most of us are sleeping. Wake up, America. Wake up, Christians. Wake up, sinners. Wake up, world, please. Open your eyes and look around. 